Hey, in this important episode of Tourism Marketing TV, we're going to talk about how your travel marketing and your travel website may be jeopardizing your whole business. Stay tuned. So I got an email the other day that was really troubling. It was from uh, Michael in uh, Sweden. I mentioned him the other day in an email. Uh, he's pursuing his dream travel business. He dumped a boring career and it decided to make a go of it. He takes people to some of the coolest places on the planet, the Himalaya, South America, Sweden. He's pursuing his passion. He does, he does a great job at his trips. Um, but he's lacking business. He, he's hurting in sales. He spent a lot of money on a website, but somehow it's not generating uh, enough inquiries or sales. And he's not sure what to do. He's overwhelmed with choices. He's confused. And, and frankly, he's, he's running out of money and he needed some guidance. Does this sound at all familiar? Well, what was troubling for me is that over the nearly 20 years that I've been a consultant and talking with people at conferences via email, phone, is Michael's challenges and confusion is, are very, very similar to what I've heard over and over and over again. And that they're not, the people are not sure what to do, especially with, with these days with uh, internet marketing, websites, social media. Uh, it's confusing, it's overwhelming, and, and people are, are investing a lot of money and time and not getting the results. But here's what I found most troubling about Michael's email is during the same period of time that Michael and many, many of you are struggling. There are others that are having record sales. Um, things have never been better. Their travel website's their number one tool. They spend less time marketing, they're making more money, and they're, they're getting paid, <coughs> excuse me, to do what they love, and their, their, their dream is coming true. That's what's most troubling to me because I know that there's important strategies, tips, and tools that are proven that are in my course that, that I teach I've, uh, that will increase your inquiries, will increase your sales, will make your investments in some of your marketing pay off better. So I asked Michael if he'd be willing to um, be a guest on my show, and you're going to meet him in just a second share with you some of the things that he's done that have, that and, and haven't worked and um, be open for some coaching. So this is a special three-part tourism marketing series with a focus on your website and what you need to do to make it sell for you. We're going we're gonna to focus on a couple very specific and strategies, sp specific strategies you can put to work right away. So I really hope that you'll uh, sit down, invest a little time, and watch this important series over the next uh, week. Um, and I guarantee you, you're going to learn some things that will inspire you, that will guide you, and will show you how uh, you can pursue, uh, make more money pursuing your travel dreams. Thanks. One more interesting detail. You know I love technology, uh, especially when it works properly. Well, when I was interviewing Michael uh, via Skype uh, video, somehow the my video feed disappeared. You can hear my voice, but you can't see me. So what I've decided, but we can see Michael and what he shared was so important, I didn't want to try to re recreate it. So um, you're, please uh, watch this uh, section with Michael, the interview, and what he shares, because it's, you're going to really resonate with what he says, and you're going to love the advice uh, that he gets and what, how it's going to help you. So in the times that I'm talking, I'm going to show you some fun pictures of me uh, in my this wild world of the business of travel, and, um, and then f f the uh, follow-up with the, with the uh, two parts of the actual uh, website review, and we'll really dig into the nuts and bolts. So stay tuned. Thanks a lot. I know that some of the things that we're going to talk about will not only help Michael, but will help you too. So on that note, Michael, welcome to today. Thank you, Jim. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is um, Stimio Set, Michael Setgram. Uh, I've been doing my, my business for around four years. I'm a founder and owner of this company uh, called Adventure Lovers. Uh, we are an outfitter doing mostly mountaineering, trekking, but we're also doing some safaris in Africa, 
We're doing ice climbing in uh, Norway. Uh, we have some pretty cool adventures up in the north part of Sweden, uh, mostly winter time where we have a lot of snow and skiing is, is a big part for us. Uh, we're also doing some stuff in South Africa, uh, sorry, South, South America uh, with uh, mostly Peru. Um, that's it pretty much. Um, I think we have a really good website, as Tim said, and, um, uh, but lately uh, we have been struggling. I mean, 2011 was a hard year for a lot of people uh, in the stock market, but also in a lot of other different businesses. But, um, you know, we think we tried hard with SEOs and ad marketing and, and other stuff, but um, I'm getting frustrated here what to do. Yeah. So, over to you, Tim. Okay, I I I under I understand. Well, what I'd like to do is um is to, is just take a, a quick snapshot of some of those marketing things that you've done, and then and and then look at perhaps some priorities because what I find is um all of us, including myself, you know, with technology and social media and everything changing all the time, it's sometimes hard to know what to do next, isn't it? Very much so. It's a little, a little overwhelming. And so I'm kind of a let's keep it simple uh, person. And I want to make sure that the, the question I always ask is what can we do now to get the biggest bang for the buck, the fastest and the easiest? I mean, how can we increase sales with what we've got to work with now? And that's in alignment with the, with the um, path of traffic out there. Uh, the latest stat that I've seen is anywhere from 92 to 96 percent of all travel is now researched online. All vacations, people, they're going on online, and so you know, you, if you if you're going to be in this business, you, you've got to be online, and you and or you're not even going to be in business. But what happens is too many people. Uh, what I find is put up a website and they hire a web designer and it can look really pretty, but a lot, most web designers don't really understand the concept of creating a, a website that sells in the tourism industry. And, and when I mean sells is that when someone comes to your website, especially in your niche where you're dealing with treks and expeditions and mountaineering and ice climbing, this is a higher level of, of, of real and perceived danger uh, than just um, uh, a a uh, a uh, mountain biking tour, um, and and so what I find is is that is that in order for you to have a website that's going to convert that f unknown that stranger to your website who doesn't know you from Adam, but they happen to to type in uh, adventure uh, adventure travel Swedish mountains, which I see on your website. I'm looking at is one of your uh, it's the title of page uh, a title it's the title of your home page. Um, and they find you. And the, the name of the game is, is how, how long are they staying on that site? How deeply are they going? And are you convincing them in, in literally seconds that you're experienced, trustworthy, um, you know what you're doing, safety is a top concern, and other people are endorsing you? And that, that, to me, the whole concept of social media is really all about social proof. It's about people talking with other people and sharing their opinions, their reviews, their ideas, um, their suggestions. That, that, that's the heart of social media is other people talking. And um, it's really important to get other people essentially endorsing you, reviewing you, giving their opinions. And there's, there's some ways that you can do it. We'll talk about it in a second. But before we go on, Michael, um, did you say that you have Google Analytics uh, on your website now or some sort of tracking? We do. Um, Tell we, me. we we have had it for a while. Um, um, I guess you know when when things getting a little bit of the wrong way. You think um, I, at least for me, uh, I know that I've been a little bit lazy at least during 2011 because uh, you know you don't know what to do, and uh, I've been checking a little bit less um, during 2011. But I picked up again because I I am. Um, Thought uh, I need to find some new muscle here for 2012 and really dig into the problem instead of um, put my head in the sand. So uh, I've been pretty much looking into it again. 2012, try to follow what pages, how long they stay on the on our start site and so on. Give me an idea. Um, do you, um, what is your a average uh, visitor stay? Um, do you know off the top of your head? Um, Approximately. Like, yeah, I think it's like uh, you know it's minute or so maybe. Uh huh. 
Uh, what do you know? What your bounce rate is? It's forty-three uh, percent. Last time I checked. Okay, well that's not too bad. That I believe, you know, it, it, you might go forty-three percent of the people that for those that don't know what a bounce rate is, that means that that forty-three percent of of Michael's traffic are leaving in less than ten seconds. <laughs> but what's really, which you might go, oh my God, that's almost half the traffic. Well, the reality is, is that most people do worse than that. Is that I've seen an enormous amount of websites where they have 60, 70 percent or more bounce. Right. And so, how can you possibly hope to convince people that you're a reputable, trustworthy source that you know what you're doing, and they should they should consider you if they're leaving right away? So that's the number one. So 43, uh, that's not bad, but it's not it's it's not good enough. You need you need to have people um, not only um, staying the greater percentage but staying longer one minute is certainly not enough to really understand the the depth of your knowledge and the depth of your experience before you started the adventure lovers michael um to be a tra you know, mountaineering guide and to be a trekker this was this something that you had a personal passion for and a lot of life experience in or that you combined uh, a team that that had this experience um it was um it was totally me i and it's a great passion for me and um, I was doing almost 20 years in, in the financial business um, I had a change of heart I, I felt like you know life is short and I need to do something different at least give it a try uh, and I thought you know um, if you are really really into something um, that would be the business I would pick and as um, I love the mountaineering um, my first visit to the Himalayas and Nepal was fantastic and and I will remember it forever and ever every step of it actually so um, um, that was my pick and then I have been developing after that mm -hmm. finding finding hopefully the right guys and mountain guys around the world to to um, to work with well, the um, it's it's really it's fun for me and it's amazing being in the position I am I, I kind of feel like a, the hub of a wheel and I, I, I have the opportunity to connect with really neat people like you from all over the world over all these years who are doing something very similar there's they've had a shift of, of heart that they, they grew up in a beautiful area they happen to be an expert at a particular sport or they love being in service and they but they're really clear is often they they hate what they they used to do <laughs> And they want to do something <laughs> different, and they want they want to make a, a, a decent living, and that's that. I could, that was one of the things that that struck me about your email is is that it was really clear that, and and this is also true. A lot of people in the tourism industry they're they're not interested. They don't have aspirations to become fabulously wealthy. They just want to make a good living, getting paid to do what they love. And to me, Correct. that 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 currency of getting paid to do what you love is is that is wealth. And um, so, but it's it's hard to um, enjoy quality of life when you can't pay your mortgage. So let's 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 make some money. Um, yeah, let's and, do it. And 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 the other thing about this is is that about you know I, people I say this a lot is that we're in a quality of life business. But not only does that start with you first, Michael, but I feel. I mean, your trips are awesome, and, I, there, and so many of us have got these such cool trips and experiences we offer. If we can't market well and get people to, to consider us and choose us and go on a trip, then we're not ever going to, those people are never going to have an opportunity to have their lives enhanced. So I feel that, that we almost have an obligation to carry out the business side of our, of our offerings so that we can enhance that quality of life. And those people can go back and say, oh my God, I, I, was, I saw a tiger in, 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 in India. I was up on, uh, at, the, at the base camp of, of uh, Everest. And they, they, you know, those snapshots of life, I think, is, is what we're selling. And you know, those people go out and tell how wonderful it was traveling with you. And we want them to come back and, and, and refer more people, do more trips, and sing the praises of Michael and adventure lovers and get them selling for you. So that's, okay. so that's what I'd like to take a look at. I, I'd like to... Now we're going to shift over to the second part of this interview. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, open up his website and we're going to start looking at it. I want to, I want to look at some opportunities for how can we get uh, Michael's clients selling for him? How can we get more social proof so that we can get uh, a, 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 people stay longer on the website, lower bounce rate, and more importantly, more emails, more inquiries, more, for, more phone calls, and more sales. Does that sound good? Very much so.